My dad's gun cabinet. My mom's makeup box. My sister's underwear drawer. These are the places I was forbidden from entering when I was a kid. And when I defied these orders, I got a huge spanking, let me tell you. Totally worth it, though. But if you were to head into some of the forbidden places on this list, you'd end up riddled with bullets and arrows, dressed in an owl costume, or snuffed out by Vladimir Putin. So let's find out why in our list of the five most forbidden places on the planet. At 5. Metro 2 Metro 2 is the codename for a purported secret metro system which lies beneath the streets of Moscow. Apparently built by the KGB under orders from Joseph Stalin early in the 20th century, it is said to run parallel to the public metro and consist of four main lines situated between 50 and 200 meters deep, connecting important buildings such as the Kremlin, the Federal Security Service, and a mysterious underground town beneath the district of Romenki. U.S. military intelligence seems to have confirmed Metro 2's existence with this map of the system. And in 1994, the urban exploration group Diggers of the Underground Planet claimed to have discovered an entrance to the system. It is suspected that Metro 2 is still operational and used today by the Ministry of Defense and Main Directorate of Special Programs. And while nobody in government will confirm if Metro 2 is real, many ex-politicians such as former advisor to Mikhail Gorbachev, Vladimir Shevchenko, have admitted to its existence. Shevchenko is on record as saying that while Metro 2 was to be used as a bunker in times of conflict and as a method of safe travel for important leaders during peacetime, today it lies disused due to flooding and obsolete technology. But that's exactly what they'd want you to think. And the truth is, there could be a whole lot more down there than just a subway system. As KGB defector Oleg Gordevsky was once quoted as saying, You still do not know the main KGB secret yet. A huge underground city. A whole communications network of such facilities. But they will not show you. They will never. Of course. At 4. Bohemian Grove Bohemian Grove is a conspiracy theorist's wet dream. As for over a century and a half, this 2,700-acre California campground has played host to an annual summer gathering of the world's most rich and powerful business leaders, government officials, former presidents, and media executives, all on the invitation list. But this is a strictly no-tail zone as ladies haven't been allowed to set foot upon the grounds of the exclusive Bohemian Grove since 1928. It is believed that business dealings are supposed to be left at the door when entering this fancy pants frat party. But in reality, the Grove is the site of secret underhand negotiations between the world's most powerful men. The Manhattan Project was famously conceived here, and it makes you wonder what other things are occurring out of the public's gaze today. Well, as it turns out, the answer is weird owl rituals, as Alec Jones and his cameraman discovered when they infiltrated the grove back in the year 2000. But further shenanigans include human infant sacrifice, demonic summoning, and organized assassinations have apparently occurred at this mysterious off-limits event, which takes even the powerful people 10 to 15 years to gain membership. So as for us schmucks, none of us ain't getting an invite anytime soon, that's for sure. At 3. The Ghost City of Verosha In the 1970s, the Cypriot city of Verosha was one of the world's most popular tourist resorts, with its modern high-rise buildings, fancy restaurants, and swanky nightclubs attracting everyone from presidents and prime ministers through to major Hollywood film stars. It was described as the French Riviera of Cyprus, with art and intellectual activity flourishing in this settlement in the middle of the Mediterranean. Until that is, the Turkish army came and put a stop to it. Turkey invaded Cyprus over a dispute with Greece, and today it is an island split into Greek and Turkish regions. 
This invasion caused people to flee Verosha in droves, with some stories of pots left boiling on the stove for dinner never to be returned to. At the time, the city's population stood at 39,000, but today, officially, it's a big fat zero. Save for the occasional Turkish military patrol, fencing surrounds this abandoned ghost town and has done so ever since the invasion. Sadly, few people ever dare to enter this once magnificent place today as the Turkish army are under orders to shoot trespassers on sight. Photos and videos taken through the fences or inside Verosha are explicitly forbidden, and those who have dared to venture in and take them never admit to doing so. Which is why we're allowed to steal them for this video. Neato! The future for Verosha remains uncertain, with talks still ongoing about a possible resettlement of the area. But one group who are violently opposed to such a prospect are the fearsome sea turtles who have been seen nesting in and around the city ever since its abandonment. Aww. 2. North Sentinel Island India's North Sentinel Island has been described as almost like a human zoo. As here, over 72 square kilometers of island territory in the Bay of Bengal, there exists a tribe of Stone Age people who are completely cut off from the rest of the world and have been for over 60,000 years. On the rare occasions, outsiders have attempted to interact with the Sentinelese, either by formal means or through shipwrecking on the island, the locals have been none too welcoming. One or two friendly exchanges were made in the 1990s, but in 2006, two fishermen who drunkenly landed on North Sentinel were attacked and killed in a hail of arrows. The Sentinelese even attacked a helicopter which attempted to recover the bodies, but rumors that the men had been cannibalized were put to rest when the locals were seen to have buried their two victims. At present, there is a three-mile excursion zone in place to protect both fishermen and the Sentinelese, because when other tribes like this have been forced into contact with the world, things tended to get a little nasty. As well as exposure to new and deadly pathogens, People from isolated tribes tend to go a little nuts when they're let loose in modern society. Alcoholism is a common problem, as is their sexual exploitation by curious perverts. Because when a new tribe is discovered, some people's first thought is, <laughs> I wonder what it's like to bang them. <laughs> but while this abuse is clearly abhorrent, perhaps a little sex ed wouldn't go amiss? as the Sentinelese population has dwindled from 117 in the early 20th century to 39, when it was last measured in 2011. It'd be sad if these intriguing people were to die off as we'd never learn of their ways, their customs, and their ancient language, which is not understood by modern Indians and may help us understand the origins of many other languages. And sure, we'd be able to rifle around in their stuff without fear of death once we got there. But we'd have no context for it. We'd never know what they know. And their unique perspective on the world would be lost forever. So while nobody is allowed to go there at present, hopefully one day we'll hit them up for a chat. And at number one, the Coca-Cola Vault. There are three recipes the world wants to know more than anything else. The recipe for KFC, the recipe for love, and the recipe for Coca-Cola. The first one, just a bunch of celery salt and cat grease. And the recipe for love involves me seducing your partner using my sweet voiceover guy tones. But the recipe for Coca-Cola has been a closely guarded secret ever since its creation by Dr. John Pemberton in 1886. Now. The story that the Coca-Cola recipe is only ever known by two people is actually a myth taken from an advertising campaign. But what is true is that the formula for mixing its ingredients, which is believed to be the real secret, is written down and remains locked inside a vault at all times, and hardly anyone in the world is allowed in for a peek. For decades, the instructions for making this delicious diabetes juice were kept inside the vaults of the SunTrust Bank until they were moved in 2011 to a purpose-built vault at the World of Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta. 
This vault now forms part of a permanent exhibit. But if you think you can take a look at this recipe by just strolling by the guards while whistling inconspicuously, think again. Because you're not allowed anywhere near the vault door, let alone inside. Even the majority of Coca-Cola's head honchos aren't allowed in there. Since the recipe for mixing Coca-Cola is now kept on a secure computer which programs mixing machinery around the world without any human interaction needed. But let's say you broke into the museum late at night. You'd still need the severed hand of a Coca-Cola executive to get past the keypad and hand scanner which controls a door made from several feet of solid steel. And that? Sounds like a lot of effort just to find a piece of paper with the words brown stuff, bubbles, and a shitload of corn syrup written on it. And that's our list. Are you tempted to go visit some of these places anyhow? Good luck with that! But for those of you who don't want to start a new year off being 100% dead, how about watching our video on the 7 creepiest dungeons instead? Because these are places you'd never want to visit, forbidden or not. <laughs>